All right, hey y'all. Um, I did not vlog more yesterday, even though I literally said I was going to. I apologize about that. I got tired. So, yeah. Um, I'm on my way out right now. It's so ugly outside. Hold on. If y'all know the movie Silent Hill, wait, is it Silent Hill? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, there's still stuff in my hair. I look crazy. Sheesh, Alex. Um, if y'all know the movie Silent Hill, that's what it looks like out here. Or The Mist, that movie by Stephen King. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It is, like, I came out here and I was like, yo, <laughs> I can barely see the car. But um, since I'm driving now, I'm gonna cut off my phone and I will catch y'all later. So yeah, bye. Gang, gang. Okay, so I'm currently on campus. Um, so I have my film class, my intro to film class. Um, that I'm gonna be in right now. And then what else do I have to do today? I have an eyebrow appointment because my eyebrows need help. And as far as like appointment, and then I pick my sister up later today unless my dad picks her up. So that's that. Yeah. Hey y'all. So I just got out of class. Um, I just decided to take a walk because um, I don't know. Sometimes I just like to... Okay, I'm not even going to keep lying to y'all. Um, I'm not going to say what the situation is. But, um, there's a certain situation on my mind. And it kind of has me feeling... Um, I don't know how it has me feeling, really. That's, I guess why it, I'm taking this walk, because it kind of has me feeling embarrassed. It kind of has me feeling stuck, kind of reevaluating myself and the people around me. Um, and for the record, it's actually not a bad thing. The thing that happened is actually a good thing, but I was expecting a bad thing, so now I'm confused. Um funny too something that a sorry my hands all in the way it's funny too something that a friend told me recently is that I'm on defense too much and um I didn't believe said friend but now with this situation presenting itself and me realizing I expected a bad thing when a good thing actually came it makes me realize I am on defense too much and I know this is all really vague and not making any sense, but um, I'd rather not talk about the details. But just know, basically, I expected something bad to happen and something good happened. And now I'm reevaluating why I expect bad things to happen. Especially from people that I care about and people who care about me. So, yeah. Taking a walk, just kind of thinking, pondering before I go to my eyebrow appointment. I do stuff like this all the time. Just um, walking around and really just being in nature. Something I really enjoy. Let me see if I can show y'all. Do y'all see that? How pretty it is out here? It is so pretty. Sky and lake and all. It's gorgeous. But yeah. But yeah, I'm going to get back to y'all later, okay? I just wanted to share that with y'all. Bye. Hey, guys. 
Hey guys. Hi. Hey. It's not even that serious. I don't know why I'm trying to get this right like it is. But hey y'all. So today is currently Saturday Saturday Saturday. Mm. Um Saturday, February the 23rd. And I I don't know if I told y'all this, but y'all know I want to be an actress, right? So I was looking into acting classes like around me and something I realized that some acting classes do is that you can audit the class for free um once before you sorry I was just making sure I'm I'm all good. But yeah. You can audit the, audit the class for free once before you decide if you actually want to start paying your money there. And all it takes is you signing up with your email, saying what day you're going to come in, and yeah. So, right now, I am going to an acting school in Buckhead. It's called Nick Conti. Nick Conti's acting school. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Nick Conti's acting school. And, um... Just heading over there. I'm gonna park at the Marta station, hop on Marta, and then take it up to Lindbergh. And then um, from the Lindbergh station, I will be like five minutes away. So yeah, so I'm excited. I'm really excited. Like, I have been really like wanting to start my acting classes, but I haven't taken the time to actually pay for a class yet because one I want to audit out the acting classes around me just to see what I like first so I know what school I want to go to and two I want acting I consider it my craft like it's an art form and I want to focus on it like solely and prioritize it and because this like semester school semester was not prioritized with taking acting classes i'm just leaving it be when um the summer comes around though and for the rest of the year is when i tend is when i tend to is when i plan to prioritize my acting stuff so yeah that's when i plan to get that done um so i just decided you know what i'm going to use this period of time to save up money for the classes audit them out see how I like which schools and then after I have audited those schools I will go ahead and decide which one I actually want to go to I'm really really excited I'm actually not nervous at all watch me get there and be nervous now that I said that but yeah I'm not nervous at all like <laughs> and it's funny too because I feel like this is something I usually be nervous for but I'm not nervous I'm just like really ready like I feel like I honestly feel like I'm just going to, to school like and like I've been going to these classes it just feels it just feels right that's the best way for me to say it it just feels right so yeah and then what else do I have planned I have let's see so for the um oh for tomorrow tomorrow so tomorrow's sunday and i told you guys i'm working with a certain team right now um and tomorrow is when we create our first video um i'm not gonna lie i just got like a little nauseous i think it's because it's too hot in this car heat will do that to me I just got like a little I just felt a little sick but um this probably looks so crazy right now because like the camera's shaking Ooh, okay that made me nauseous that hell just now I was hoping that I left early enough I think I did but like, I just really uh, I really don't want to be there late only thing that I can think that might I could have done better on Um, only thing I can think that I, um, might have been able to 
do better on is that I could have gotten ready quicker because I woke up at like I set my alarm for 6:45 and that's when I got up. That's really that's like the exact time I woke up. But I didn't start moving until like 7:30. I didn't leave the house until 8 o'clock. Yeah, I left the house like pretty much like right before 8, 8 o'clock. Like 7.56 or something like that. So, I could have moved a little quicker. But I do tend to be kind of like paranoid when it comes to time. Like, I don't know what it is. I feel like I have a really poor sense of time. Like, I'll be like, oh, okay, um, I can chill 10 more minutes and I'll, I'll still be there, like, on time. And I chill that 10 minutes and I go, and then, like, I'm late. But it's like, I have to think mad in advance for me to be on time to something. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like, does anyone else experience that? Do they feel like they just, like, they're not good with, like, time? I feel like I'm not good with time at all. I'm steady working on it. But yeah, the only thing I can think also, the only thing I can think also, another thing I can think that might mess me up is that the Marta station doesn't run as frequent on the weekends. But we're not going to talk about that, even though I literally just talked about it. So. So I'm currently starting like uh, currently at Linux. I'm in like the cafe area. I'm like sitting here in the back. Um, just to get some work done. Right now I am scheduling out my well not scheduling out my week, but like writing everything down so I can know what I need to do for today, basically. Like if I have something due on like for instance I have a online test due on Monday. So I'm making sure I include studying for it in today's schedule. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm just trying to. I'm just creating my to-do list today. I have, as far as right now, I have post my vlogs from before because I still haven't posted my last week's vlog. Vlog for today. Complete a quiz. Study for a test. Create flashcards. I think I'm gonna leave it at that honestly and then if I when I get those done I'll continue to create a to-do list for the rest of the day if I have time so yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now so I will see you guys later hey y'all it's me so I haven't vlogged in a little bit um I'm thinking should I give you I'm chewing this gum I should probably spit it out while I'm talking to y'all. Hold on. Yeah, it's hard to talk with gum in your mouth. But, um, I'm thinking, should I, so I, I don't think I want to hold this up. But, um, should I, um, give y'all the rundown? Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, should I give y'all the rundown of the week or should I just tell you about today? I'm like, I'm thinking this to myself. I don't know yet. Um, first of all, I would like to say, I feel like I look good today. Oh, dog just made the weirdest face oh there we go this is, ooh. this is my baby i know he looks like a bear he's not he's a poodle he doesn't want to be up this long are you sure it's like nah i'm good off that okay so let me think monday so first of all i'm on spring break right now it is currently wednesday um 
I can't, my, okay, so Monday, the only thing I can think of Monday that I really did was I was at a production team meeting with my production team. That was redundant, but I was at a production team meeting with them. It was really good. Um, met some new faces. We talked about some new plans and stuff we're trying to get, get done. So that's exciting. We'll definitely be letting you guys know about the details when um, we get more in depth with it. Tuesday. Tuesday was just like Tuesday. Oh, Tuesday yesterday. I just went shopping. That's all I did I just went shopping and I didn't even go shopping shopping I just like went to different stores to see like what I wanted um and then Like made the decision of like what my final What the final things I want was talk about stuff that what the purpose of this channel was for uh, these vlogs even though I talk about what I do in my day-to-day -day life they're not really for that because I kind of don't feel like my dated li life is interesting enough to be talking about that type of stuff. Um, these vlogs are really more for me to talk to you about how I feel and where I am in my life mentally and spiritually and emotionally. So, not today because I'm I'm now getting through it, but over the past, and I'm going to be packing up as I talk to y'all. Over the past um week or so, I've definitely been like feeling insecure, just kind of not feeling beautiful, feeling put down, feeling like love and romance and um even my career are not meant for me and that I'm not capable of um achieving those goals. There um was the situation with this guy that I refuse to get into details about because I'm just kind of tired of the situation itself. But there was a situation with this guy that kind of made me realize that I still have insecurities that stem from relationships, that stem from romance, that stem from really feeling like I need to be validated by guys. Um, that is something that I've dealt with for like so much of my life. And I'm taking the steps to fix it because honestly i didn't realize this was a problem i still had i assumed that after i left georgia state that i was good i don't know i don't know something in me just made and just had me assume that i didn't have that problem anymore but this situation kind of came up this guy popped up and things didn't turn out the way i wanted and all of a sudden i just drastically fell back into a state of depression and it made me f realize wow this is a really intense insecurity for me like a really strong it's something that i've dealt with for very long it's something that bothers me to this day it's something that like really kills me um so i'm taking the ops i'm t not obstacles i'm taking the steps to retrieve myself in every possible way to look at the areas that i thought i was good at and reevaluate basically step back and really think about why it is these things bother me the way they do um that's part of why I got my nails done um because for me stuff like this is just a way to tell myself I'm beautiful so no one else have really has to tell me and um that's why I've been doing shop going shopping for some clothes because to me that's self-care um some and it's stuff I don't do a lot I don't really have a lot of clothes. I don't get girly that often. It's something I'm transitioning into doing more because I'm realizing the value of it. I'm realizing the beauty in getting pretty just to feel pretty. I think I went through a very long period of time in my life where I felt like getting pretty was shallow. And I just believed that. And it's not true. Now I know this. But I truly believed and judged and felt as though getting pretty and getting dressed up was stupid and there was no point and I didn't see why people did it. But... That mentality deeply contributed. My dog is like, y'all want to see him? <laughs> just, he placed himself there. I promise he wasn't there before. He just did that to himself. <laughs> but yeah. um, it, it deeply contributed to how I felt about myself. Just acting like that. Acting like I couldn't get pretty. That type of stuff will weigh on you if you let it. So... Yeah. Yeah, that's all for now. I'll catch you guys in a second, though. I'm going to finish packing up.
All right. Hey y'all, so I'm heading to a location right now to check it out. Um, just trying to do a little, some location scouting for the team so we can go ahead and get it popping, get it going, get our content up. And I really, really, really cannot wait. Like, ugh, the stuff we have planned, I'm so excited to share with you guys. But, of course, I can't share until the content has been created and posted and all that good stuff. But when, ooh, this turn is always... Super sharp. Yeah, it's kind of fast. I don't know if you heard that. My back I just dropped because I, I turned kind of hard. So, um, right now, I'm just doing that. Yeah, but I'm really excited to share the content with you, with you guys when, once it pops up. So, yeah. Um, but like I was saying before, um, I kind of felt like maybe the way I said it actually earlier... It might have been a little rambly, and honestly, up and up until this point, well, this point too, I feel like every time I speak in a video, I kind of ramble. I feel like I kind of get off point a little bit, then I kind of get on point, then I kind of get off point, then I kind of get on point, and it makes it hard for me to know if you guys can really even understand what I'm saying, because I'm someone who just, like, my mind moves so quickly, faster than my mouth can move. Therefore, when I speak a lot of the times, I'll jump two steps ahead of the point that I was originally trying to make, and then you guys won't have any connection of what I was trying to say because I didn't place it in a way that was like kind of chronological and just fluid. Um, so, if that is ever a problem for y'all, please let me know. Um, because I... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I tend to ramble a lot. I tend to just be I tend to just be talking. I just talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and I won't know that people aren't making the same connections and understanding what I'm saying because I understand it. So but yeah. So when it comes to that, let me know. Um and I apologize for that because I know I can talk a lot. But growth and taking the time to do what you do, taking the time to be the best person that you can and taking the time to be great. So yeah i will catch y'all later and yeah hey you guys so i just got done doing some scouting some location scouting it actually went really well and i actually realized that i like it a lot location scouting is fun it is tiring though you gotta like find a place and then you gotta evaluate if the place fits with what you're trying to do and then if it does you gotta like call people to like let you use it of course but it was nice i like i really enjoyed it really sleeping actually no to be honest i don't think i'm tired because of the location scouting i think i just didn't sleep enough because i woke up this morning and even like when i was eating breakfast this morning i was like i feel like i could go back to sleep <laughs> so i just think i'm tired in general but um i didn't look at my to-do list and i should have before i started driving but uh it's whatever um i'm about to check to see what else i have on my to-do list for the day while i'm at this red light but I did enjoy locate. I did enjoy scouting. The houses that I looked at were like really nice. I was like, dang, I should get a house here. Like, sheesh. Um, let's see. Before this light turns green, let me find it. Okay, here it is. Oh, the light's green. I knew it was gonna happen too. The light is now green. I knew it. It's all good. Um, that's so funny. I was literally about to start reading it, and then it was like, like the car in front of me just, just started moving. I was like, yep. I guess I could stop somewhere and look at it, though. Let me do that in a second. Do, 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 do. Put um on the end note for that, like, I tried to catch the notebook, but it fell before I could get it. I, I saw it and I heard it falling in my peripheral vision. I saw it. It's down there now. The light's green. I can't get... What is this light behind me? 
It is so bright out here. Park someplace real quick so I can read off what I gotta do on my to do the yells. I feel like I've done a lot today already. Okay. So. This didn't help at all. This literally did not help one bit. Okay. My parking is atrocious, but I don't plan to to stay here, so I don't care. This is better. Now you guys can see me. Um, let's see. Okay, that's even better. All right. So, um, let me grab this notebook. So my location scouting isn't over with, but I'm holding off on it right now because I just called um the director. And she told me that she's gonna, she just got the script from our script writer and um, she's gonna send it to me later tonight. So I figure what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna read through the script, analyze the locations that are going to be needed and like prioritize within the, um, within the piece, within the, the short film narrative. And then from there start location scouting because I feel as though it should all be coherent, and they can't be co coherent if I don't know what I'm looking at. Like, I don't have any frame of reference right now. I'm just looking at places to look at places. So, I'm going to hold off on location scouting for the rest of the day, get the script, read through the script, and then start, you know, making some connections and making some um, arrangements in my head. So, that's one. Read the script is one... said car wash today but i don't know if i'm gonna do that um told myself i'm gonna i should i need to calculate and establish what my midterm grades are in my class so i know how hard i need to go for the rest of the semester because i've been chilling up until this point honestly um editing some vlogs um business planning for my event doing some shopping and work out later tonight so read the script read the script establish grades video editing business planning shopping online shopping if i didn't clarify that earlier online shopping and then work out so for the shopping part i think what i'm gonna do because i didn't get to hit this place the other day when i was shopping i'm gonna go to burlington look for some pants over there and if the pants at burlington are better than the pants at old navy and of a better price then i'll go to Bur then i'll order from burlington um but i know that burlington has some good pants too so i'm gonna check there first so all this other stuff is stuff that requires not requires me to be at home but requires me to be in like one space to do it or like in a space that's well, the workout requires me to be at home. But, like, the editing, event, GPA, none of that requires me to be at home necessarily, but I can do that at home. So, I'm going to get what I have to get out first. So, I'm going to go ahead and head to Burlington, do that shopping, and then, yeah, we'll see. Hey, y'all. So, I'm in Burlington. I honestly don't know how long I'm going to stay here because I just walked in here, but, like, I really do feel tired. Like, I feel pretty tired. <sighs> I'm going to look, though. I'm going to look for some stuff. See some stuff I like. 
These are cute, but these are definitely too small. These, I like this. If you can, yeah, that's good. I like it. <laughs> it's me. Get this out the way. <laughs> I feel like it's obvious I'm tired too. I feel like it, you can see it in my face. <sighs> and it's a shame because I can tell that they do have good genes. Like I can tell they have, do have some pants, but I just don't feel like putting in the energy to look through them. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and order my shit from Old Navy and be about my business. Maybe on my next shopping day, I'll come to Burlington. But um, I'm exhausted. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this off. Catch y'all later.